Hello and thank you for viewing this video. This video that I posted recently created a lot of interest. Currently this video has 58,000 views and a lot of comments on this videos. And I noticed when I was re reading particular comments that some people still believe that the mechanics were right about the bad crank and crank bearings. Well, I'm making this video in order to show those specific people that the mechanics actually screwed over, they scammed over FWC for them to buy a new engine. And I'm going to take you on my journey with this engine on the back of my John boat. Okay, so here is Florida and right here is a place called Pinellas County. And if we zoom in closely, you will see the boat ramp where I've launched the boat at with the engine. And um, throughout this video, I'm going to use a marker tool to mark my track of where approximately I've driven the boat, which will track how many miles we made. So this is the boat ramp, and we're going to start off right here. And from the boat ramp, I've traveled to a McDonald's located on the water over here. And basically, I went under this bridge and to this McDonald's right here. And this McDonald's is pretty cool because you could actually park your boat here and leave your boat and walk on this dock right here and eat inside and leave your boat right here and you could see your boat from the windows. We are going under this bridge because on the other side of the bridge to the right, there's a McDonald's. That's where we, where we are heading. And the um, engine runs like a dream. It runs really good. Um, literally nothing wrong with the engine. And um, after we go um, to McDonald's, we're going to go out to the ocean and we're going to go fishing. So we're going to take you guys with us. And... Alright, so here we're docked here and there is the engine. Just wanted to give you an outside view. That's my little John boat. And that's the 25. And now we're going to go into the McDonald's. So after the McDonald's, we started to head back where we came from. And we were making our way to Fort DeSoto. Now we went through here. And right here is where we came out. This is the Gulf of Mexico. And this bridge is called John's Pass Bridge. All right, so we're done. We are going back out and we're gonna go on a long trip to Fort DeSoto from Bay Pines, which is about an eight to 10 mile trip. So let's see how this engine does. Here, well right there, is the Gulf. This is John's Pass, the bridge is up. There's a cat going through. There's the engine and we are making a trip to Fort DeSoto, which is about an eight to 10 mile trip. From, oh, a little big wave from where we are right now. And I did not bring my spare engine because I know this engine's gonna get us down there. Really great engines. So, stay tuned. So from here, we took this way and we hugged along the beach in order to get to our destination quicker. We could have went through here and whatnot, but we did it because some of the area areas had uh, minimum wake zones, and we were running out of time. So we hugged the beach all the way down here, and then about like halfway to our destination, I noticed that we really needed fuel because we wouldn't have made it back to the boat ramp. So I made a turn in here and went to a marina, which is located right over here. Alright, so I had to stop at a marina, um, I don't know how much it is for fuel, but um, I'm going to grab a gallon of fuel just in case, it's pretty nice out, I'm not sure which marina this is, but uh, it's pretty nice. So we are leaving the marina, I bought 1.7 gallons, this thing was full, this is a um, three, three gallon tank. And now we're on our way to Fort Soto. We're almost there. Um, should be there about 10 minutes. Now after we fueled up, we basically went back the same way in order to get back to the Gulf. So we went through here and then we made a turn. 
passing shell key. Now we went along the beach and this is Fort DeSoto Park and if you've never been there I highly recommend it. Very nice, very beautiful place to be. And <clears throat> this is where we actually went fishing for a little bit. If you zoom in closely you will see the tower. So we made it to Fort Soto with my motor. That's the second pier, and my key is right there, and Fort Soto Beach is right there. Mike's fishing, and we have shrimp, and we're gonna see if we can catch anything. Mike has something. What is that, pinfish? Now we fished here a little bit. We really didn't catch much, just small stuff. So we wanted to go swimming, so. We passed the second pier at Fort DeSoto and hugged along Edmont Key. And then we went to this little island and over here is Anna Maria, Anna Maria and there is an island located right here and the water is just beautiful. It's really clear and just really nice sand. So we parked our boat pretty much right here. So we're actually on this island, uh, the water is pretty nice, it's actually pretty clear. Uh, that's Edmont Key. And here's my boat and the engine. The engine is doing really well. Uh, the prop is a little crappy, it came off uh, my uh, Yamaha 25 engine, it's a little beat up motor. But I needed a prop and fit right on. Uh, engine's doing really well. This is about a uh, 11 mile trip from where we started. Uh, fuel efficiency on the engine is really well. Great engine. And we have three people on the boat and some gear and it actually does really good. This is a 16 foot aluminum boat. Forgot the brand but it's a 1975. And it pushes this boat really well. So I'm just gonna hang out here, fish, and we're gonna go back in and hopefully Everything goes well. Engine's uh, it's been doing what it's supposed to be doing. She runs really good. So after swimming for a little bit, we headed out to Edmont Key because there was a little, little, um, some wreckage and stuff, um, remnants. We went over here and hugged along the beach right here. These are the wreckage where we actually were fishing at. We're out here fishing at Edmond Key. The park's right there. Really nice out today and hopefully we catch something. After fishing for a little bit we had to go in because the sun was going down. So basically we went next to Edmond Key and we started to head back in. We are a little offshore this time um, because I just felt like I would waste more fuel just hugging along the beach. But after, once we got closer, I started to hug along the beach and approximately over here at St. Pete Beach, I was running really low on fuel and I was questioning if I should park my boat at the beach and walk to the gas station. But luckily, I actually had just enough fuel to make it. Once I got to John's Pass Bridge, I knew we were safe. And this is the bridge right here. So we finally made it to John's Pass. It was a long ways. We came from over there and we are really limited on fuel right now. There's, it's really low. Um, it should be just enough to get to the boat ramp. But uh, this motor did very, very well. No issues, no complaints. Just a great running 25 Yamaha. So after we went underneath the bridge, we cut a right. We followed this all the way 
back to the boat ramp which our destination ended and as you can see it's approximately 44.5 miles here I'm going to zoom out so you can see where we actually went and that is a far trip and I only had one engine which was that engine that I bought from FWC and it was a really fun trip I burnt only six gallons of fuel but um, literally I had pretty much nothing left when I got to the boat ramp so we made it back to the dock no issues just a little low in fuel but um, great engine <laughs> So I hope this video helps you guys believe me that they actually did scam FWC in order for them to buy a new engine, but if you still don't believe me, um, I don't know what to do, but um, hey, you're entitled to your own opinion, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe.